How many people are there? I don't know if I can talk about the language tonight. I want to uh, um, hopefully teach you some things. And uh, we're going to start with some basics here. Talk about introducing yourself. Um, and I, the first couple, first couple weeks, uh, I gave you more. Um, I think last week we talked about Dokid Ya Unhe, how are you? But <laughs> if you learn, if you learn a statement or how to say something in Dakota, I think you should always learn the question to go with the with the statement. So we're going to talk a little bit about that tonight. So basic introductions in Dakota, and some couple people already already responded. Whoops. All these wacky writing systems. Which one is the best? Uh, whichever one works for you. Okay, so. <clears throat> Doked. Just like in Doked Ya Unha. Doked. Doked Enichiapi. Doked Enichiapi. He. In Dakota, <coughs> uh, this He at the end. That is actually an oral question mark. So if I was to see somebody and ask them, what's your name? I'd say, and they would know that that he at the end, I'm asking them a question. So uh, that's over here in Minnesota, Makoche, that's both male and female that say he. Um, <coughs> I know for the Lakotas, it's a little bit different. They have he and they have Whoa. Okay. I just saw an angry face. Why is there an angry face? Okay. So, do So, many responses to that. Okay. So, very basic way to respond to that. A, a makiapi. You would say your name first and then a makiapi. So mie chante maza e makiapi do. Chante maza e makiapi do. My name is chante maza. That's my Dakota name. Or I could say Neil e makiapi do. Neil is my English name, which means ohies a. And <clears throat> I have another Dakota name, Machpia Chanduhu Makiapido. So, or my birth order name, Chaske Makiapido. So we have uh, birth order names. Chaske means the firstborn male, the firstborn in the family, and he's male. Emiado, that's me. So Chaske Makiapido. But <clears throat> whatever the case, whatever your name is, Makiapido. Now. I'm going to say do at the end because I'm a man <clears throat> or I'm male. Women are going to say yeah at the end. So one of the ways to think about this, if I say chante maza e makiapido, I'm saying when I say do at the end, I'm saying uh, I just made a statement and also I'm male. Okay, so all that's encoded in the language just by saying that. Chaske makiapido. And again, women would say yeah. All right. So, <clears throat> uh, so that's name. Um, we'll get into okay, another one. So when I first started learning Dakota, um, when I would visit with speakers, they would ask me kind of basically the same questions in the beginning till we got to know each other a little bit. So when I first so when I first started teaching the language, I thought, you know, I <coughs> I will check with the older ones 
and talk about what I should teach. And we talked about introductions first because it has been my experience sometimes at ceremony, sometimes at a public public event, uh, especially if we haven't met each other before or or whatever is going on. Sometimes we we stand in a circle or however it happens, we stand up and we introduce ourselves in the language. And I don't mind taking, <coughs> you know, requests to translate stuff, but um, if you're just learning the language and you don't know how to say your name or where you live or something like that, uh, you should pace yourself. You should learn some basic things, how to introduce yourself. So, um, so this one right here. Dani huh? So again, you see the question mark here, the, the oral question mark. I mean, I don't need to put the question mark there. I'm doing that for the sake of the, the language learner, but Dani Kota ha. Dani Kota ha. Are you Dakota? Now, again, there might be some variation on this. Somebody, some people might say Ni Dakota ha or Ni Dakota huo. But this is the way that I was taught over here in Minnesota Makoche. So trying to stick with the, as close to the Bidawakantuma dialect as possible. All right, so Dani Kota ha, two ways you can answer this. Okay. Now, um, as a man, if somebody asks me if I'm Dakota, I'm going to say, how the Makota do? How the Makota do? And, um, you know, because I might get asked that, especially with my forehead moving up. Anyway, um, but how the Makota do? Yes, I am a Dakota, or I am Dakota. Women are going to respond so that's kind of a yes. I'll talk talk uh, about that a little more later. But women are going to say, huh. See, now I have to talk like a woman again. Huh. Huh. Da makota ye. Okay, so as I'm only speaking like that because I'm a teacher. <laughs> Do not normally talk like that. But somebody asks, dani kota he? A man will say, how? Da makota do? And a woman will say, huh. Da makota ye. All right. Um, if you are not Dakota, and nobody's perfect, that's a joke. Okay, all right. If you are not Dakota, you can say, Hia. Hia by itself. Hia means no. Hiya, try that. Hiya. Hey, could I borrow 50 bucks? Hiya. Hey, do you want to go uh, downtown to Viking Stadium? Hiya. Hey, do you not want to go to the buffet? Hiya. What does that mean? Okay. Hiya. Damakota Shni. Hiya. Damakota Shni. I, no, I am not Dakota. So the Shni. That negates or it makes any statement into uh, it is not so. So I could say, Ralph a Machiapi Shni. My name is not Ralph. I am not named Ralph. Okay, so Hia, no. The Makota Shni. Hia, the Makota Shni Do. I don't have the Ye and the Do written here, but I'll say it. Hia, the Makota Shni Do. And a woman would say, Hiya, that's both a man and a woman word. Damakota shni, woman would say ye. All right? So, so far on here, you see ye is for women, do is for men. That's the end of a statement or a sentence. How is for men, huh is for women. So, uh, what's your name? Are you Dakota? Now, I can, I can only tell you what... What I've asked about, what I have found out over here, uh, as far as Dakota language stuff, I get a, I get a question sometimes, um, how do you say hello? Well, for men, 
uh, if you've seen a lot of the Hollywood Indian movies, the answer is kind of in there, sort of. But this word here, how? And you probably saw it like this, where the, the guy's like, oh. Yeah, we don't, we don't really do that. We, we like to smile and joke a lot. Okay. <clears throat> but, um, <laughs> all right. Uh, glad you enjoyed that. Hey, Chaka. So, um, when you greet somebody, when you greet somebody, so if you're greeting one person as a man, I could just say that. Ho. Oh. And this one, I've heard. It sounds just like how. Like, how are you? I've, I've heard it like that, but I've also heard it, ho. And I've also heard, ho. So it depends on your community, depends on where you're raised. There are many ways to say this, but ho, okay, ho. And sometimes it's ho, you know. However, however it is, it depend on the situation. This is also used for agreement, you know. Um, geez, that new Thor movie is pretty good, isn't it? Ho. Ho. One example. Um, and in agreement, women would say, huh. Hey, look at the, look at, um, geez, that soup has a lot of meat and it doesn't. A lot of tatanka tado. Huh. A lot of bison meat. Huh. Men say, ho. Oh. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so this works for hello for men, or I could also say, as a man, hamadakie, If I meet an individual I have not met before and I put out my hand, I can say hamadakie, hamadakie, hello, my relative, hello, my relative. Now, that's that's for a man, okay? Now, how does a woman uh, say hello to uh, uh, an individual? So <clears throat> I can can only tell you what I was taught and what I have asked about. So um, there are some ladies these days that say, huh, midakuye, for hello, my relative. But what I was told was women do not sit now, and I'm not a woman, so... Uh, I'm not really talking for women. I'm just telling you what I, what I asked about because as a teacher, I have to try and pass on this as best as possible. So, have compassion for me. So, <clears throat> typically, a woman would just say, my relative. But there's also a reason for that. When men talk, we have to throw in a few more words than ladies because that is out of respect for women and the language. Okay. So, a woman would just say, Itakuye. Now, more often we use a relative term. And I'll go over the relative terms at, at some point uh, in the next coming weeks, but because um, there are a lot. Because we, um, we take kinship quite seriously. And uh, it is not uncommon for us to call, to use relative terms. Um, with so many people that are not blood related, but you know that that does not matter. They are just they are a relative. All right. <clears throat> if if it is plural, okay. If it is plural, if I were to address a large group of people, when I get up, I say, "How me be." Or you might also hear, look at the, the difference right here, mitakuyepi, mitakuyapi, same word, means the same thing, it's just said, said a little bit different, oops, mitakuya, okay, yeah. So, <clears throat> dakuye, that word by itself, dakuye, that means a relative. So I could say, Tatanka uh, Iotake Dakuwaye Do. So, uh, Sitting Bull, that man, he's a relative of mine. We're related. So, but, how Mitakuye be? 
or how mitakriyapi. This is how I was taught mitakriyapi. And if I was, uh, again, if I was in greeting a large group of people, how mitakriyapi? And a woman would just say, mitakriyapi. Okay, my relatives. All right, so this is, again, this is one way to do this. This, this is not the way to do it. Notice I put that disclaimer out there. All right. <clears throat> All right, so just to kind of go over the sounds of these again. What's your name? So I would say, Chante maze makiapido. Chante maze makiapido. Dani kota ha. Dani kota ha. Are you Dakota? How da makota do? Yes, I am Dakota. Um, or, he had the Makota Schnido. No, I am not Dakota. <clears throat> so, and if I greet a relative, how? Or, how metakuye? Or, uh, I have tons of uh, male cousins running around there, and our word for that is Tahashi. So I say, how Tahashi? Hello, hello, male relative. Because we have both male and female relative terms, as well as male and female relative terms in man and in woman speech. All right? So, and if it was a large group, how mitake be? How mitake be? All right. So, <clears throat> that's a little bit on um, that part. Now to move on. All right. Trying to figure out a more efficient way to do this. I figured out how to broadcast my computer screen, <coughs> but um, I'll, I'll do that next time. Uh, I want to make sure that this goes this goes okay. All right. Next question: When you're at, talking about yourself or asking somebody. Where are you from? Now, that means a lot of things. That could mean, where did you grow up? Um, where's your community? Where's your res? Um, what do you call, what do you call home? So, and whatever it is, So, like for me, um, I would say, Biruakantuan, Oyate Hematahan. That's how my Koshi, who was a speaker, she taught me to say that. She said, Remember when people ask you, Donitahan, you say, Biruakantuan, Oyate Hematahan. Okay, so that's what I will say. I will talk later about what Biruakantuan <coughs> means. Okay, so where are you from? Donitahan. And you, you hear how I ask that? Donita ha ha. Donita ha ha. It's not Donita ha ha. Where are you from? Like that. Because Dakota is different when you ask a question. Donita ha ha. And Hemata ha. Viruakantua oyate Hemata ha do. Okay? So where are you from? All right. So uh, if for now you could just say, um, Sisseton Hemata or Minneapolis Hemataha or um, wherever East Lake Street Hemataha Hemataha do. All right. Next one. Dukstedia Tiha. Dukstedia Tiha. Where do you live? Where do you dwell? And wherever it is, so I'm just going to put the word for Minneapolis in here. Whoops, I forgot it's a little. Hmm.
<clears throat> All right. So wherever you live, you, you say that first, you know. Um, Bede Ota is Minneapolis. And I was talking to a speaker one time, and he asked me this. He said, he said, uh, and I said, Bede Ota, he said, Daku? Daku means what? Daku? I said, Bede Ota, he And he said, I don't understand you. And I was thinking, oh, geez, is my Dakota that bad? And I said, um, and he said, oh, yeah. Yeah, you said you're from many lakes, but I don't know what that is. I said, Minneapolis? And he said, oh, you know, if you say, I might have figured that out. And because uh, he was not, he's not from this area, the Twin Cities. So, so Otunwe, Otunwe is a town. It's where they village on. But Bede Ota, many lakes. Bede Ota Otunwe, the city of many lakes. Minneapolis. So, Bede Ota Otunwe, Ed Wati. I live in Minneapolis. Or I live at Minneapolis. I live in Minneapolis. Ed really is at but I suppose it can be in in that way. So, Dukted Yatihe. Dukted Yatihe. Where do you live? Bedeoto Otunwe Edwatido. I live in Minneapolis. I, I guess I'll write St. Paul up here. Dominijuska. Dominijuska. Sometimes it almost sounds like Minijuska, Minijuska. Minijuska is St. Paul. It's like white bluffs. There's uh, white stone in that area, kind of the sandy stuff, Minijuska. So, Dukted Yatihe, Minijuska Edwatido. I live in St. Paul. So, all right. This one, this one is a fun one for second language learners because it's uh it's hard to say but it's it's a good one oops okay so again <clears throat> Remember the first video I went over the sounds of the language? Um, I will talk a little bit more about that soon. Just talk about the different writing systems because you're going to encounter a lot of writing systems. And, and I promise you, the more you get to uh, using the language and looking at the different ways of it being written, you should really have uh, not too much trouble uh, in the future reading just about anything that's given to you. But this, for starting, that's a little challenging. All right, so Dukted is where? Oh, okay. Washte, Michaela, Indonesia, Scott, Ed, Yatido, Washte. So Dukted, where at? Where at? Or at which location? Again, Dukted, where? Dukted, Inichacha. Dukted, Inichacha. Chacha. Chacha. So this is the ch sound, not the ch sound, the H with a little mark over it. This is a ch. Dukteri ni chacha he. Dukteri ni chacha he. Where were you born? It can also be where were you raised or where did you grow up? It depends on how you want to answer that. Mostly people say this, where I was born or where I, you know, spent some time growing up. But where I was born, and so for me, Mie, Mie, Mie is me, Mie. Bede Ota Otue Ed. Imachachedo. 
So where was I? Where was I born? I was born in Minneapolis. Okay. All right. So we have Donitaha. Where are you from? Wherever you're from, Mia, I would say, Oyate Hemataho. I am from the uh Oyate. Many ways to translate that. Dukedya Tiha, where do you live at? I live in Minneapolis. Or you could say, or Santee, or Pejutazizi, or Miniwaka, or Oglala, or whatever. <clears throat> so, but that goes here, Edwatido. Where were you born? So, mie, bedeo to tu ed imachache do. Ed imachache, inichache, inichache, imachache. So, you see this, pay attention to this. You see this says, inichache, and then this is imachache. See, there's the a and the e. Can talk about that at some point here. I probably might do that in my uh, little grammar or linguistic um, videos that I'm going to be doing soon. So, all right. So this is kind of a um, uh, something specifically uh, for uh, not only Dakota people, but if you're native. But I can give you an answer for it too if you are not native. This is this is always a good one, and again, this is I got this from many speakers that uh, I've worked with, that I've um, uh, visited with. The questions that they asked me, getting to know me. <clears throat> Can I save this till another day? Uh, once I'm done here, the video is posted. Um, uh, Tio Wakanadi. Once I'm once I'm done, the video is posted on the Bede Ota Dakota Yapi Ocheti Facebook page, and you can watch it whenever you want. So, and it's free. All right. So, Dukted Oniwapiha. Again, there's where at. Dukted. It's short for Dukte Ed. Dukte Ed, and it's a contraction. Dukted. Where are you enrolled? Where are you enrolled? Okay. Where are you? Where are you written down? Where are you recorded? Where did they write you down? Where did they record you? Where are you enrolled? Okay. <clears throat> so if if you are enrolled, and not everybody is, and it doesn't mean that they're not native. So, me, I'll show you where I'm in old. I'll write it up here. That's where I'm enrolled. That's that's my reservation. Mini, you know what mini is, right? Water. Wakan. Wakan. Wakan can be translated so many ways. Holy, sacred, mysterious, powerful. One of my favorite translation, translations for it, though, was from uh, the late and great Albert Whitehead. And he said, waka. Waka means something that has the ability to give or take life. And that's, and uh, it's also uh, used in um, one of the words for the creator, wakantanka. And a lot of people translate it as great spirit, but <clears throat> There's an elder from uh, Prairie Island who is gone, the, the very late and great um, Chris Leith. And he translated that word, Wakantanka, or uh, the creator, God or whatever, as the great unknown. But it has this word in it, something that is powerful and has the ability to give or take life. 
but it could also be sacred or holy or mysterious or something like that. <clears throat> or mystic, mystic lake. Okay. So if somebody said, Chante Maza, Duktero Niwapiha, Chante Maza, where are you enrolled? I would say, Mini Waka Ed, Omawapido. Or, actually, what I also say is, or, let's say, Mini Waka Oyate Ed, Omawapido. I'm enrolled up at the Spirit Lake Nation of Dakota people. Or, Mini Waka Oyanke Ed, Omawapido. Oyate is a people or a nation. Oyanke is a place. So, depends. Okay, depends on its speaker preference. Dep depends on what they want to say. But wherever you're enrolled, Ed Omawapido. If you're enrolled at Sisseton, CC Tuan, Ed Omawapido. If you're enrolled at um, uh, Prairie Island, Tintawita Ed Omawapido. Okay. All right. <clears throat> uh, here's a good one. Do you work? Okay. And again, that has this is a very hard sound to make together. This chta, chta. Let's try that. Chta, chta by itself. Otherwise, this one. I won't give you any examples, but a lot of first language or second language learners have a hard time saying this word, but it's khtayani, 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 khtayani. Do you work? Do you toil? So if I was to answer this, that I do work, I'd say, how khtawani do? How khtawani do? Or if you're a lady, huh? Khtawani ye? That's how a woman would respond if she works. <clears throat> and um, that goes for, let's say you don't have, you know, the place or job or office that you go to um, uh, as, as a, a stay-at-home mom or, or, or whatever, or you take care of the house, that's work. So as a, as a woman, um, you know, in this society, kind of a stereotype that if a woman is at home, it's not a real job or something, but it is. So a woman could say, huh, because <coughs> yeah. she does work. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Um, and if you don't, let me just say, if you do not have a job, like maybe you're a student or something, yeah. Yeah. No, I don't work. Okay. So like I said, maybe go to school or maybe you retired, which um, I don't think I'll ever get to do, but that's okay. Uh, all right. So... <clears throat> um, Oh, just to go over these here. So, where are you enrolled? So wherever you're enrolled, Ed Omawapi. So I would say, And then, do you work? Yes, I work. Yeah, 
So if a man works, if a woman works, Hove only. All right. Um, let's see, 38, all right. This one. Wadawaha. Wadawaha. Do you go to school, essentially? Do you study? Wadawa has a few other meanings, but in this context, when you're getting to know somebody, Wadawaha. Do you go do you go to school? So again, men are gonna if you do, if you're a man, you're gonna say how. If you're a woman, you're gonna say huh. Write those up here. So the question, what do I have? And as a man, I'm gonna say, how? Wabadawa do. Wabadawa. I study Wabadawa. How Wabadawa do? And a woman's going to say, huh, Wabadawa, yeah. Okay, so again, do you go to school? Wabadawa, yeah. How Wabadawa do? Yes, I go to school. If you don't, you're going to start recognizing that pattern. Yeah, no, yeah. A little awkward to write sometimes here. Here, Obdawa Schnido. No, I don't go to school. Khtawani Do, I work. <laughs> but school is work too, right? All right, so again. Wadawa ha? Do you go to school? How wabadawa do? Yeah, I go to school. Or hia wabadawa shnido. Okay. How how hankashi noella? All right. Um. Oh boy going to do age, but we have to talk about counting. Okay, let's do that. Let's see, we have 20 minutes left. <laughs> so little time. Uh, maybe save that for next week. Maybe I'll talk a little bit. So last week I talked about um, in the home, and I know I we talked a little bit about the um, the bedroom like getting dressed, sleeping, dreaming, and things like that. Talked about the bathroom, showering, washing face and hands, stuff like that, combing hair. Um, the kitchen, what goes on in the kitchen? Some of the, some of the basic things that happen in the kitchen. So just to kind of Okay, whoops. All right, <clears throat> so was talking about this in a linguistics class the other day. Ishtime by itself is to sleep. O ishtime is the place where sleep happens, the bedroom. Iheye, Iheye, uh, that means to like uh, evacuate something. Oihe is a bathroom. That's where stuff gets evacuated. Oihe ed. Oishtime ed. In the bedroom. Oishtime ed mishtime. I sleep in the bedroom. 
Oishtime ed Wabadawa. I think somebody posted that last week. I study in the bedroom. I, I do reading, I do whatever. O ihe ed mihiduja jado. O ihe ed mihiduja jado. Now I gave you the other word, o tankadye, same thing. O ihe ed mihiduja jado. I shower in the bathroom. Unless you're little, then you can do it in the sink, right? Okay. Next one, o wohe tipi. O wohe tipi. That's the kitchen. That's the, the tipi, the lodge, where boil, stuff gets boiled. That's how that translates, but owohe tipi. Not to be confused with owote tipi. Owote tipi is a restaurant, but it's a, it's a little bit different. Owohe tipi, the kitchen. That's one of our, one of our words for kitchen. <clears throat> Over here. Uh, I know, West. they have um, their words a little bit different. All right. So what happens in the kitchen? And I know last week I did uh, talking about what I do in the kitchen. So me. So I'll kind of continue that with the kitchen here. So in the kitchen. Wawate. Wawate. Wahetipi ed wawate. I'm eating in the kitchen. I ate in the kitchen. Wawate by itself is a complete sentence. Wawate, I ate. Or I'm eating. Chante maza, dakto kanohe. Wawate do. Chante maza, what are you doing? I'm eating. I'm eating. Amayushto. Okay. So, wawate. <coughs> wawate. Now, we haven't talked about foods yet, but if you might, maybe some of you already know some foods. If you say you're eating a specific type of food, that's a little bit different. And this is how you would, we'll put one in here for you. Good Dakota one. Tado. Okay. Tado, what it. Tado what de do. I am eating meat. But you see the difference here? Wo wate. I'm eating. I'm just doing the act of eating. That's this one. This one here. Tado what de do. Wate. Wate. Tado what de do. I'm eating meat. Tado. Tado. That's it. It's an essential Dakota word to know. Okay. I just want to talk a little bit about dialect difference. Uh, to the west, the Lakotas are going to say Tchalo, and even further west, going up into uh, Montana, the Nakotas, Tano, Tano, because they don't have a D. Lakotas don't have an L. We don't have an, or sorry, Lakotas don't have a D, so they say Tchalo. Nakotas don't have a D, so they say tano. All right. So <clears throat> I'm eating. I'm eating. I'm eating meat. Two different, two different sentences, but they convey the fact that you're eating, but one, you're doing it to something. You're eating meat. Okay. Next one. Um, Okay. You're drinking something, but you have to specify. Mini, so we'll put mini. Water. Mini, but that's good. Mini, but that's good. But that's good. Mini, but that's good. I'm drinking water. Just like I'm eating meat, I'm drinking water. Okay. So, <clears throat> I mean... You could eat in the bedroom, too. Lots of people do that. You could drink water in the bedroom. I don't think we eat or we eat in the bathroom. Sometimes you drink water the one we brush our teeth, right? So, all right, number four. So 
something you do in the kitchen. Washpanwaye. Washpanwaye. I am cooking. Washpanwaye. Whoops. Washpanwaye. Washpanwaye. I am cooking. All right. Now, if you're cooking something specific, it is a little bit different. So let's say you're cooking, uh, I'll give you another food here. Um, vegetables, just to, you know, be safe here. Okay. Watoto. Watoto. Watoto vegetables, green things. Watoto shpanwaye. Watoto shpanwaye. I'm cooking vegetables. Now, at the same time, if you want to say you're eating vegetables, watoto wate. If you want to say you're cooking meat, tado shpanwaye. Okay? All right. <clears throat> um, wakshi badu jaja. Wakshi badu jaja. Short for wakshicha. Wakshicha is a dish. Wakshi badu jaja. I'm washing the dishes. Wakshi badu jaja. Hmm. What else? Um, it's a little bit of a longer one. It's a good word too. And this is said, um, depends on where you are. This might be a little different. <clears throat> okay, this word here, wahanawotapi, wahanawotapi, wahanawotapi is a table, it's where they eat at, wahanawotapi, wahanawotapi, ed, there's that word ed that showed up uh, in the earlier lesson here, ed, at, or in, not inside, but, you know, because like when you say I live in Minnesota, you don't live like in the ground you live at, but it's, you know, within the boundaries. Wahanawotapi et manke. Not manke. Okay, manke. Manke is I am sitting, <coughs> I am situated, um, I'm there. Wahanawotapi et manke. Wahanawotapi et manke do. Wahanawotapi et manke do. I'm sitting at the table. So, awohe tipi ed, in the kitchen, awohe tipi ed wawate, I eat in the kitchen. Awohe tipi ed tado wate, I'm eating meat in the kitchen. Mini badatke, I'm drinking water. Washpanwaye, I'm cooking. Watoto shpanwaye, I'm cooking vegetables. Wakshibadu jaja. I'm washing the dishes. Wahanawotapi ed monke. I am sitting at the table. I almost said laying down, but that's not right. Wahanawotapi ed monke do. I'm sitting at the table. All right. So, moving on. So we did the kitchen, kitchen, the bathroom, the uh, bedroom, and there's this one. Okay. So <clears throat> ozikie, ozikie by itself means he or she is resting. 
o ozikie, the place where he or she rest, or people where people rest, the living room, one of those, the parlor, the whatever, family room, whatever. O ozikie, we just say living room, okay? O ozikie ed, o ozikie ed. Uh, see, let me back up just a little bit. I'm going to put this at the bottom. <clears throat> this is some very good uh, vocabulary to, to get down if you don't know it already. Dakdo kanu. Dakdo kanu ha. Dakdo kanu ha. What are you doing? What are you doing? Dakdo kanu ha. What is it that you are doing? Daku, <clears throat> daku do kanu ha is kind of the, the long version, but dakdo kanu ha. What are you doing? So, so you say, Dakdo kanu ha wa wate. I'm eating. Dakdo kanu ha nape wa hadu jaja. I'm washing my hands. O ishte me e dakdo kanu ha. Mihiduido, what are you doing in the bedroom? I'm getting dressed. Dakdo kanoha. Dakdo kanoha. Very good to know. Dakdo kanoha. So I could be answering all of the. I could be answering this question with all these answers here. O ozikie ed. O ozikie dakdo kanoha. O ozikie ed dakdo kanoha. What are you doing in the living room? which you could ask your child, right? <clears throat> or your spouse, if you don't want them to be in there for some reason. Okay. So, o ozikie ed. Very well-known one now. This word here. Itoshkashka, itoshkashka, not itoshkashka or itoshkashka, itoshkashka. See, it's that soft T. Itoshkashka, that is uh, in a modern translation, that's a television, okay? Itoshkashka, not computer, it's just, it's a TV. Itoshkashka, one of the words. Um, I could give you the older word if you, if you want. Itoshkashka wobrake. Itoshkashka wobrake. Itoshkashka wobrake, though. Like if I was in a living room and one of my uh, boys or my wife said, Dakdo kanoha, I could say, Itoshkashka wobrake, though. I'm watching the TV. I'm looking at the TV. But in modern context, I'm watching the TV. Whatever you want in front of Wabadake means you see it. Hopshida Wabadake, I see a boy. Machbia Wabadake, I see the sky. No. Chante Maza Wabadake Do, I see Chante Maza. How is that possible? I'm right here. Okay. Wabadake, but Itoshkashka Wabadake Do, I'm watching TV. Older word for TV. one of the words okay remember this is uh the dakota i'm speaking it's a dialect it's one of the many dialects but it's the same language tate 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 that kind of looks like an n tate is the wind tate wayankapi the wind that they see tate wayankapi the wind that they see, that's an old word for TV. So uh, maybe today there are still some speakers that use it. So if you said, you know, they're in the living room, Dakdo Kanoha, Tate Wayanka Bi Wabadake. I'm watching the wind that they watch, I'm watching TV. Okay. Older word for radio. Tate, whoops. Tate. Tate. Uh, 
I like this one. I like. I really like the older words. You see that little thing right there? That means that that ch gets a stop. Oh. Okay, hey, Chaka, what's the difference between dakdo knohe and daku, daki chanohe? Dakdo kano, what is it that you're doing? Daku e chanohe, what are you doing? Daku e chano. Because da, daku. Hey, daku e chano. That could also be, hmm, what did you do? Daku e chanohe, what is it that you are doing? Can you use them? Can you use them? Can you use either or? I think there are times are, but Dr. Kono Daki Chano. What did you do? Daki Chano, Daku Chano. That might be a little more specific. Like if you're telling somebody, huh, I'll have to ask about that. I think you can use them both the same. Yeah. Okay. Tatenach um, Umpi. The radio, the uh, the old word for TV, old word for radio. And uh, last one, last one for tonight. What do you do in the in the living room? Ozimichiedo. Ozimichiedo. You hear that? I'm taking it easy. I'm relaxing myself. I'm, uh, yeah, taking it easy. All right? All right. Oh, yeah. Not enrolled. If you are not enrolled, I'll write that on here. Jeez, I'm a little bit of a spaz. Dukdera Omawapi Shni. I'm not enrolled anywhere. Or you could just say Omawapi Shni. Yep, I'm not enrolled anywhere. Dukdera Oma. That might be specifically if you're a native, but you're not enrolled. Dukdera Omawapi Shni. I'm not enrolled anywhere. So. All right. Uh, that is it for tonight. Um, remember, you can uh, Facebook message me questions or post them on the on the site. And this um, the introduction stuff. We will have that posted on the the sheet. We put that on a sheet. We'll have that posted on the Bede Ota Dakota Yapi Ochati site. Um, uh, we'll try and get audio with it as well. But again, just to go through this again in the living room. Oozikia Ed. I watch the TV. I'm taking it easy in the living room. I'm relaxing. So, uh, thanks. I'd say a big thank you to all. See you again.